The new United States-Mexico-Canada agreement could be just what Canada needs to tackle its next trade hurdle, American steel and aluminum tariffs. We have some momentum now, having concluded this deal, and we are definitely looking to take advantage of that momentum to intensify conversations about steel and aluminum. With more on that and other political stories making headlines this week, we are joined in studio today by the Globe and Mail's Laura Stone. Good to have you with us Good in to person. Be here, Anne -Marie. And we can expect you to be you know, here every uh, week, as you always are, for our look ahead. But from now on in studio. That's right. I've moved to Toronto, so I'm excited to be here in person now. All right. Well, let's get to politics. Uh, how much goodwill can we expect from the Americans? You know, Christian Freeland making it sound like there's this ton of momentum as we talk uh, aluminum and steel. But is there any? Well, I think the fact that uh, the Canadian government was actually able to get this deal done with Donald Trump uh, is uh, what the Trudeau government would perceive is a lot of goodwill. I mean, if you think of where they started, tr uh, Trump was threatening to rip this agreement up. They wanted to get, it, get rid of that Chapter 19. Mm -hmm. They wanted to include a sunset clause on the deal. Uh, they were threatening lots of things, and Canada was able to keep those kind of red line issues. Mm -hmm. So I think there was a lot of relief in the Prime Minister's office uh, this weekend when they were able to do that. And yes, they're sounding very optimistic, Christy Freeland said. You know, they weren't able to relieve those steel and aluminum tariffs, but they were able to um, not get those auto punishing auto tariffs mm -hmm. instituted. So I think the Trudeau government is hoping that uh, that now that they've handled this with Donald Trump, they'll be able to lift those steel and aluminum tariffs. But that has not happened yet. Well, and when you listen to the language coming uh, out of President Trump, he still sounds like he is in protectionist mode. So we'll have to see where those discussions go. Yeah, somewhat. Although you know, he said yesterday he was praising Prime Minister Trudeau, saying he's a good guy. His only fault is that he he loves his people, right? So I'm sure Trudeau is happy to hear that after being called weak and dishonest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back here in Canada, Julie Payette has been the Governor General for one full year. Anniversary is today. Uh, she sent an email to her staff back on September 27th. It read this. Uh, As you know, a number of recent news stories and commentaries have portrayed an unfavorable image of our work at the beginning of this mandate. I sincerely regret if this has affected you. Of course, talking about the national newspaper coverage, Globe and Mail among them, uh, you know, outlining that she maybe doesn't like the job, that she's attended less events than her predecessors have. Why is this first year been so tumultuous for her? Well, I think Julie Payette has to convince Canadians that she actually wants to do this job. You know, she comes across as a very smart and capable person, but she's very introverted. And, and you're right, Anne Marie, she hasn't been doing as many events as her predecessor, David Johnston. She doesn't live at Rideau Hall. She's not embracing those kind of ceremonies and traditions that you, you would expect from a governor general. So, which is part of the job. Which is part of the job. But, you know, she brings something different. She obviously has a very interesting background. So she has to find that balance where she's being herself, but she's also embracing what this job is supposed to be. Uh, finally, as the polls predicted, Francois Legault is the new premier of Quebec. However, he was handed this mm -hmm. massive majority uh, yesterday. What was the message that won it for him? What was driving change in this direction? Well, I think this was a rejection of the establishment, right? I mean, we had the PQs and Liberals falling. This is a new party, um, had only run three times. So Quebecers were looking for someone different. Um, you know, he said he's going to lower taxes, maybe privatize health care. And of course, he wants to cut the number of immigrants. So I think he's going to be um, facing a bit of a showdown with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau over, over that issue. So it'll be really interesting to see how that provincial uh, dynamic plays out. Justin Trudeau has a few fights ahead of him uh, mm -hmm. dealing with the premiers now that he's done signing this new trade deal from you know from one to the other it never ends yeah all right we'll lots for us to talk about when you come back thanks exactly Sarah. thank you